Okay, we're back with some LTTP rando action. I forgot I need to open up a tracker. We're not going to have splits visible, but I do have some splits behind the scenes. Plus, I will be looking at an item tracker and a map. I just don't have room on the layout for all of this right now. So let me try to find uh, where the fuck my tracker's at. There it is. Half of it. There's the other half. Okay. We should be good to go. So we're playing a different mode. Also, I got something to perk up the energy a bit since we burned a lot of it in Infinity Drive. Come on. Come on. Without spilling all over me, please. There we go. Mmm. Oh, you can just taste the heart palpitations. Uh, we're playing a different variant of the rando today. This is going to be Triforce Hunt. So instead of going through getting all the all seven crystals and go fighting and killing Ganon and whatever, there are instead 30 pieces of Triforce scattered around Hyrule. And we need to get 20 of them in order to be considered a win. I think once you get the 20th, that's it. Like, it's just straight up victory, roll credits, roll stats. So I'm not sure how long a run of this is going to take. Maybe less than a typical rando for me, maybe more. Uh, my plan is to do two runs of these, uh, but it really depends on how this first one goes here, I guess. So let's get it going. In three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So I'm probably going to play this out like I do with normal randos. Just kind of make our, our visits to... Oh, actually, I forgot one thing. I forgot to get some tunes going. I was wondering why it was so quiet. I actually redid... I redid the playlist for this to get a few more things, or to get a little bit more variety. I'm really excited for this. So let's get some fucking variety up in here with some tune skis. All right, let's uh, let's huddle roll here. Uh, how do I unpause? There we go. Okay, let's do this. how to play a rando here. Excuse me, fella. So first chest in our house is just a piece of heart. Not, not exactly ideal. Oh, nice bomb pull off the tree. Excellent. So you'll see in the top right corner of the screen there that's zero out of 20. That's how many Triforce pieces we got so far. Big old 50 right there. That's good. Uncle had some jump change for us. So once we get 20 Triforce pieces, that's uh, that's uh, that's a victory. That's a win. Oh, but 10 arrows and shit though. So nothing good item wise. Let's see what we got in the church. It's candy in the church. Dang it. We're getting very little of value. Very very little of value. What are you gonna do? Sometimes you just gotta wait. You gotta be patient for the good stuff. So even though we're only really looking for crystal, or we're not really looking for crystals at all. Another pack of bombs here. It does behoove us to kind of hit the most item dense areas that we can. In the hopes of finding these little Dorito chunks. Oh, wow, we got the 20s on the crab drop. Yes, please. That's actually pretty good. That gives us money for bottle vendor. Plus money for more bombs if we so choose to buy them. Oh, blue mail on lumberjack ledge. We really don't care too much about that. At least I hope we're not going to care too much about that. We could do another tree pull for another set of bombs, but we're gonna ignore that for now. I've already got eight. Another piece of candy at mushroom spot, so that's three of four. Oops. What are you doing? 
all the wrong ways now. What a fiver in Thieves' Den. Not too shocked that we haven't hit our first piece of triangle here, but you'd think with 30 of them scattered around, we'd have a good shot at picking up at least one or two in Kakariko. So let's see what we get. Excuse me, fellas. Ouch. Don't you know who I am? Famous bounty hunter, Samus Aaron. Alright, well we got lots of, lots of chances for triangles here. Let's see what we can get. Andy. Hey, there's Dorito number one. That bomb cap. The last heart container. I knew we'd get at least one in Kakariko. Because why the fuck not? A piece of candy, my goodness. I'm pretty sure that when they place the Doritos around here, I think they replace some really trashy shit like fivers and big 20s and single ass rupees and all that so we're not missing anything out of the item pool at least nothing of value out of the item pool the last heart container that might have been sank heart since that was a re refill as well oh the mirror impressive that's something there's triangle number dose, be in a bottle, and our sword, our first ass sword, four and change in, not bad. Not bad at all. 10% of the way there. Yeah, worthless. Let's see what's in the back of the chicken out here. Perhaps Tringle number three. Nope, three bombs though. Well, we'll replace what we've used so far. I bought Sick Kid. You got a piece for us? Oh, son of a bitch, he does. Nice. So a quick three in Kakariko. There's candy at the back of the bar. So not bad, not bad at all. So we're kind of hoping against hope that we're not seeing triangles locked behind bullshit like the library. It's not good. Or Aga Ledge, or Lumberjack Ledge, excuse me. That was just a mail upgrade, so. You know, valuable, but not valuable enough to waste seven minutes killing Aga 1. Oh, there's another one at race game. Nice. So that's four. Four of the 20, huh? Nice. Within the Kakariko area. Not bad. there. Uh, you know what? Let's actually do... Ah, uh, maybe not. No, I was gonna do, um, front side escape there, but... Again, item dense areas are where we want to be. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, bird. We have the mirror, so we can do the the thing. The old twenty. Uh, 
Oh, that's gonna pay off later. Oh, nice, another one under the water. All right, 25% there. That's some good ass shit. Ouch, oh, I think I took the hit from the Octorok rather than the crab. Tringle, holy shit. Ten arrows. Fire rod. And a blast heart container. Wow. That's some value there. That is some good value. Wow, that bird was not happy with us. I guess while we're here, we should just check Ice Rod Cave. These crabs, fuck you. Just dang it. valuable there, but we've already got 6 of 20. A very good start for only having done a bunch of light world overworld locations. Front side escape, three at Sahash and three in Eastern. Next best bet on some of this stuff. Excuse me. Not the way, please. Alright, how did that not fucking get him? <laughs> Well, I don't want to die here before we get down to the dungeon, so let's not take this really stupid <laughs> as we are trying to do, apparently. There's candy there. First shield. Alright, so nothing of value in front side escape. That's okay. What can you really expect? Maybe Sahash will have something better in his back room for us.
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Picked up the wrong thing. Alright, what you got in your back room, old man? Samaria, 10 bombs, and a Master Sword. Not bad. Not a bad haul. That'd be a pretty good haul if we were doing a normal rando. But hey, I don't mind having a better sword than the little plastic piece of shit we picked up uh, a few minutes ago. Unfortunately, it doesn't really give us a whole heck of a lot of progression either. Like we can't go very far into this world. I suppose before we do this, we should check what we're dealing with here. The crystal pendant, not that it matters incredibly much, but it's good info to have. I suppose uh, some of the Triforce pieces could be in Ganon's tower, so maybe doing a bunch of crystal dungeons isn't the worst thing in the world. The likelihood that there would be enough up there that we'd be required to do it is probably pretty slim, but... Oh, look at that. There's one right there. Over a third of the way to our goal. So if we don't get some manner of progressive item in here, or an item that enables progression, rather, we are SOL except for Agana's cave out in the desert. for the burrito. Appreciate that. since we don't have any means to get up there besides fake flippering. Wow, there's a second one. Holy shit. Eastern. Eastern paying off with 10% of our necessary Doritos here. And so with that, that's two of the three items in, in uh, Eastern here. And the rest are out of logic until we get the lamp because of the dark rooms. But... How did we not hit the button? There we go. Wow, they're dropping bombs like nobody's business. That's good. Having a full set of bombs is really nice. Don't have to worry about it so much. Alright, so this is guaranteed to be the big key. The real question is, what's going to be in that big chest? Will it be an item of value, or am I just wasting my time? Will it be the compass? And put the last item on Armos? Or will it be the last item and we can say pretty much fuck this place? It is the shovel. How interesting. Okay. Well, that kind of puts the dig spot on our plate. Even though it's technically out of logic because it was behind a dark room. But hey, whatever. We'll give it a go anyways. See what we can see. Could be another Tringle. Or a Dorito or something. Which would make it 100% value. Then our next play after this is going down to the desert, visit Agana, see, like, what the fuck he's got going on. It's like, that's what we're doing anyways. That is the only place left for us to go to get a 
an item. Because <laughs> nothing else is in logic. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I kind of took the playlist we had before for randos. We kept the best ones, and then I uh, shuffled through all the remixes I had for the other Zelda games. Came up with a pretty good list here, but it appears that random is favoring the stuff that we've already heard before. But that's alright. We've got lots of time to sort through cool-ass tunes. Alright, Agana, what's, what you got for us? Gotta be something good. Maybe a glove? Perhaps a glove upgrade? Or a uh, hammer wouldn't do anything. A flute does get us to many places. I think that does... That could get us into... Oh no, it doesn't. I have to say, that could get us into uh, desert. We don't have Titans, but we don't have any gloves. Let's check the ledge. Oh, there is a triangle on the desert ledge. That is good info to have. However, since we do have Mirror, that does get us up to Hera. And to the item on Spec Rock. So, we've got two, four, plus a fifth since we're going to go back for the old man. Only five opened up by that flute, but... You know, could have been worse. Having fast travel early on is... Mucho helpful, though. this dark room real quick. This one's pretty simple. Just kind of gotta not fall in the hole. <laughs> and then I immediately fall in the hole. Good work. Perfect timing, of course. Out of my way, bats. Shit eggs. There we go. Get enough, enough distance down below. Of Brian, which is technically still out of logic, but that's all right. That's all right. It's something. Not not terribly useful, but it's something. Squirrels. shot on top of spec rock that gets us places big ass heart container inside well we're not going to go for that one but we will go for the hook shot 100 percent that gets us over to east side death mountain and another seven ish items We will also dip into Hera right away since we're right there. Perhaps and it is a crystal. 
Not that that matters too much anymore, but... But it is the value, so... May as well do it. Two items. Could be... Could be very good. Play the odds and say fuck the basement. Just keep going. Dang it, the basement will have an item. A Wormulon. Oh wow, didn't even know you could drop on that. A Wormulon and the basement have the two items, of course. Two opposing ends of the dungeon. Jeez, Wormulon, please. Stop. Uh. Oh, fuck. Come on, you shit. We had two, like, immediately awesome hits, and then we've been dicking around. There we go. Oh, a glove upgrade. Gets us to some other nice places. So, bopping into Hera, definitely a good call. We're gonna bop back in for that second item down in the basement, then. Because you never quite know what you're gonna find. Got the got the stuff to do this. Yes, I do. Never mind. Oh shit! No, I can't get this because I. Oh no, I do have the fire rock. Fuck! Wow. What a roller coaster! I always forget that you need a source of fire for the basement. Not having the lamp kind of makes me a little worried, but fire rod will do the job. out than leave it sitting there and taunting me. Uh, wait. We don't have the hammer. Got the hook shot, though.
All right, so seven items here. Big old 20, piece of candy. Five here. There's another Tringle. Big old 20. The Titan's Mitts. How about a Moon Pearl? Another Tringle, my goodness. And the Moon Pearl! <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, that gives us a whole lot more now, doesn't it? That opens up Dark World. And... Especially Dark, Death, Death Mountain Dark World, my goodness. This is a whole lot more opportunities. What value? What value? So now we're halfway there. Oh, and the hammer! Oh my goodness! That is some heckin' good value up there. Wow, this would have been a hell of a seed for a normal rando. suit our spending needs. And it'll also give us Zora money. the good call to get our first glove upgrade. If RNG treats us right, we may not have to go into any other dungeons, depending on what we can find around. Piece of candy. Another piece of candy. <laughs> Alright, well, maybe I'll just eat my words right away. But we still got four here, and we can get the hammer on the island. Uh, I'm gonna pop over and check T Rock real quick. Let's check what we got here. Oh, other five Sixers up here. Each town and pod. Mr. Crystals. Not like that matters. But, again, information. And T Rock is bottoms. Container. Busy the bands and more busy the bands. Well done. So not extremely good value. Uh, can we get back here? Oh, we can. Uh -huh. Not extremely good value, certainly, but it's something. We're on our way. Oh, we're on our way to get the. Uh, Hammer in short order here. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. We might have enough gear to get Spike Cave while we're up here, I suppose, right? Yeah, it does put Spike Cave on the map for us. You know, while we're up here, I guess. Since I'm gonna have to uh, S and Q out anyways to get back down the mountain. Well, that'd be the quickest way to go about it.
Or no, no, it wouldn't. So we've got the flute. That's right. I used to having the flute this early. But I think we're gonna have to play this real good like because we don't have a heck of a lot of magic. Or health, for that matter. Kinda do our best with the hook shot and shit like that. Might just barely have enough time to get through. Even by doing it that way, my goodness. Nothing but busy bams. Fuck. <laughs> Dang. Alright, well, we gave it a go. Uh, Alright, well, let's do backside escape now. We've got lots of places to go. Entirety of Dark World, pretty much. Um, although... No, we can't. All right. Let's say, can we check King's Tomb? We cannot, because we don't have the boots. Is the bams? Another Tringle, and a small key. All right. Well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try the dark room. That one I fucking fail at all the time. But we are now 5% of the way there. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, hmm. So what are we feeling? I'm, th I'm feeling like mire. Mire area. We can check everything here. We can make our rounds through uh, Village of Outcasts. We can stop real quick here and get a Tringle on the Desert Ledge. Bombos for Mire as well. Also poke our heads in the desert if we so choose. I mean, we are right here after all. Another two items, the two chances. We're not really 100% concerned about getting pendants, so if we can get the items before heading to land mode, that'd be really good. Check what's on the torch, that'll determine how far we can get here. Small key. Well, actually, we could dip into the, the latter half. We're not really locked out of desert at all, come to think of it. Especially with that. Because we can steal the small key from the back half and bring it back. Might be a good play. Powder. Powder is an interesting find. I mean, I guess it, it will depend on what is in is in the rest of these chests here, because if it does turn out Landmo's got the second item anyways, we are going to need the boots to grab it. So this might be a, a big time waste. But hey, while we're in the area, we may as well, right? That's kind of how the saying goes. item so we don't need to worry about the rest of the desert that's good that is real good sure it wasn't a Dorito but it gives us a little bit more survivability and that's cool Ah, 
Another Tringle in the fucking checkerboard cave. Okay, that was quite a valuable little jaunt out here. We feeling hype cave maybe? good for a refill, so that's something. 50 roops, 20 roops, card container, and 20 roops. Alright, so not the hypest. Not the hypest of hype caves we've ever had. But hey, it can't all be good. But we can kind of do the reverse Dark World check here. Oh, did we even check Meyer Shed? I don't think we did. Oops, I'll have to go back for that real quick. I think I skipped right into Desert and then went up to Checkerboard Cave. And I didn't even do Meyer Shed. Oh well. Magic Cake. Not extreme value, but helpful perhaps later on. Ice Rod in Cave 43 or whatever this is. Cave South of Grove. So, I mean, that gets us the finishing way through uh, T-Rock. But without Bombos, we can't even get in. So that's good. That's good. That locks us out of an area that we don't have to check. Can't even be mad about that. Like, we've got the perfect amount of equipment here to knock all of this out at once, which is super fine. got the hammer for Peg Cave, we've got the powder for Batman, we've got the mirror so we don't have to route in SMQing out for Blacksmith and Purple Chest. About as good as you can get here. I mean, I don't have the boots, so that's pretty slow, but other than that, I cannot complain. I mean, except for when you get bullshit when you want something good. That I can still complain about, and I will still complain about that. Ah, but a bomb cap. Fuck you. Fuck you, blacksmiths. Something of value, please. Oh, do we have enough? Uh, I hope we have enough magic for this. Okay, good. 
One little bit left. Oh, flippers. Interesting. Well, that opens up Swamp and Ice. And the full set of Zora items. How interesting. I don't know if I wanted to get that, actually. <laughs> don't know if I was really looking forward to getting that. Unfortunate that Thieves Town is a pendant. Although, I guess now it doesn't really matter. So we're kind of going to give the uh, world tour to the chest here. Hey, there's another Tringle. Six to go. Should just ditch it all together. Really? So we can come back and do it second pass through this place. But pendant or no, four items. Ah! Tringle. Five to go. Four items in one pretty quickly checked area is pretty okay with me. Plus, if we get them early, we don't even have to bother dealing with blind. We've got the hammer already, so we can get big chest if we need to. Should we need to fight blind anyways? We've got a goodly amount of gear to do it. Ah, speaking of. We've got both Brian and Magic Cape, so we have got coward strats coming out the ears now. magic before we hit up uh, Skull Woods soon. Not a bad find. Not a bad find at all. item here. We still got a chance to make it out without fighting blind, though. Could have the compass. And then we out. had a thingy-ding under it. This one? There we go. 
Hey, there's another one. Alright, 16. Four to go. My goodness. So, now we've just gotta hope that the last item is in the big chest here. Then we can get out. Eh? Eh? Yeah! And it's a fucking Tringle to boot. So, value in Thieves Town. My goodness. The value. Alright, so the chest fucked off. That's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> yep. There are 30 pieces spread amongst the world here. We need 20 of them. We are already at a cool, clean 17. And only 50 minutes in, roughly, there are boots. So we are doing real nice, I think. Not sure what an average time is for this particular variant, but... Let's see what we can pull off here. Ah, uh oh. <laughs> Even though Skullwoods only has two items, it is a very quick check, so... Well, presuming we don't have to go fight Mothula. Otherwise, there are some more item-dense areas that we could go. Ah, there's another one, so Skull Woods definitely the play. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> Too close to the edge there. Despite there only being two items in here, getting lucky that one of them was a Dorito. Maybe the other one will be a Dorito as well, and we'll be on our way. Now, not a Dorito, a burrito. <laughs> okay, well, well, we'll dip into the second half of it, just in case. Never figure out why they call us well masters if they drop from the ceiling to the floor. Well, if you've ever played the original OG Legend of Zelda, they did indeed come out of the wall. but I suppose these could be more accurately called Ceiling Masters. because we're here. Oh, I mean, you haven't played the OG one, huh? Well, I would certainly recommend doing it. It's a fucking great game. It's a little hard to figure out where to go, because they don't tell you, like, straight out, like many games of the modern age, but it was built for exploration, so, you know, that was just the style at the time. Looks like we're fighting Mothula. That's fine, we've got the gear to do it. Half magic and fire rod, hell yeah. Actually, I wonder, does Quake kill the Gibdos here? We're gonna see. We're gonna find out. I think it should. Hmm. It doesn't. It just freezes him. That's silly. 
was a waste of magic. Oh well. Couldn't remember if Quake killed him or not. I know Bombos and Ether both do. Apparently not Quake. Oh, easy. Watch it there, bucko. Out of the fucking wall, please. There. Alright, that was a pretty solid mob for the fight, regardless. Uh, not even for anything of value. Oh well. It was worth the check. Worth the check to see if it was, uh,. Of value. So what are we at? What are we at now? 17? 18? Oh. Two more. My goodness. Oops. A little ahead of myself here. out because I want to do the north side of Dark World here. Also get the one uh, item I left behind. Chest game. Oh, red meringue up there. No value. No value to us at this juncture. We did all that work. May as well get it. got a lot of very item dense dungeons left but there's still a chance that we can get the last two pieces without even going into them that is my most strident desire at this point ah there's one okay just looking for one more my goodness Holy heck. Got two minutes to turn this into a sub one hour triangle hunt here. Wouldn't that be something?
Could be the last one. Gary's lunchbox here. Ah? Ah? Ah, just a bug net. Boo. So I guess after this and maybe a hobo and Lake Hylia Island check, next most dense area would be up near Zora. Four items. Two in the waterfall, one on the ledge, and one at King Ripoff himself. Unless we get it here. Eh? Ah. Eh? Aww. <laughs> okay. No, no luck there. for us this time. That feels like it would have been really fucking good if we got like a flat one hour. But then again, I'm sure there are much better ones. How about ye old hobo? Nope. Bitty Roops. Kind of our last hope at this point now is uh, this Zora area. Four chances at getting our last Dorito. King Ripoff, you gonna sell us something for 500 bucks? Eh? Ah, oh, it's a book! Dang it, that's not what we wanted. That really isn't what we wanted. Shit. <laughs> I mean, it does give us a few more areas to try, but... Not well, two specifically. We would not be playing the odds very well if we went for those. They're quite spread out. So probably our next best bet is Swamp. Six items in total. Six chances to get our last Dorito. still be worth it.
So I'm not sure quite what the sending sequence is going to be. Like if it's just immediate win, warp to credits as soon as we get the 20th. Or if it gives us some like kind of heads up or whatever. Guess we'll find out hopefully soon. Hopefully soon, I hope I mean now. Ah. Still got six chances here. Preferably sooner rather than later, instead of going to the left side or deep in the back half of it. How about now? Nope, big old 20. How about now? The lamp. Well, it's something. Not something extremely valuable now, but it's something. chances on this side. We're headed to the back half. now yeah there we go we did it bucko 720 we win <laughs> winner <laughs> all right i feel like that was pretty good but i don't know what constitutes good in a triforce hunt mode tired <laughs> starting to get tired but we got like nine hours to go so I can't get tired yet I really can't I am getting also very warm Whew. okay so here's here's the deal right I budgeted four hours for two runs of Triforce hunt here so we are ahead of schedule. Um, so we'll probably just roll right into the next seed, I guess. And then we'll see how long that one takes and then we'll kind of adjust from there. We 
because I'd really like to give as much time as we can to our final game of the evening. Well, not final, I guess, second final. To Overload, which is after these two seeds, because it's a really fun game. And it's very high energy. <laughs> and it'll get the blood pumping a whole bunch, which is perfect for the kind of end of the stream. taking a short break here. This seed was short enough where I think we're pretty well geared up for the next one right away. But I am still kind of interested in stats, even though it makes less sense for this kind of mode than it does for normal rando. Oh, there's a, there's a Dorito at MSP, too. That's a dick move. That is a big old dick move. I do remember that we managed to get our first sword like four and change in. That probably helped us out quite a bit. Fire Rod wasn't too far behind that. We got Hookshot and Hammer both on light side Death Mountain. Had an early mirror. Moon Pearl and Titan Smiths were grouped together on the mountain as well. My goodness, we had a lot of good things going for us. If that were a normal rando seed, that probably would have ran a buck forty, maybe a buck forty-five. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, we should try an enemy randomizer someday too. That sounds fun. though. Pretty slow, no boots. Eh. No deaths, no bonks, of course, no boots. Didn't even bother with Ganon's Tower. Didn't even bother going into a lot of places. And about half on the collection rate. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Alright, let's get the second one loaded up then. See what we can pull down. Reset the timer. Get get on a going here. Alright. Self situated here. Okay. I could even see us doing a third seat of this, depending on how quick this one is going to be. Oh, we'll have to see. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Ah, ten arrows. Worse than socks on Christmas. Them arrow chests are... How about another bomb tree pull, though? That would be really fucking handy. Eh? Ah, full ass magic. Meh. Less useful from the outset. Uncle? Ah, Uncle with the first. Uncle with the first Dorito. What a bro. Holding onto it in his pockets. Candy there. A 
about the church? Big old 20. Stealing from the church collection plate. Don't worry, I'll put it to good use. Couple bombs, though. Not even enough money to get bombs. Hmm. Crab drop will be bombs? Wouldn't that be something? Eh? Oh, single roops. Not even something valuable. Probably the worst drop you could get other than like hearts or tiny magics or something. Got on the ledge there. Oh, there's a tringle on the ledge there. Uh, I mean, it's a guaranteed one, but that's like a seven minute time sink to get it. That's assuming we find the boots somewhere. So probably not anything of value there, but keep it in the back of our mind. It's candy on mushroom spot again. Close to having enough money for bombs. Oh, oh, we've got a single ass bomb now. All right, you know what? That works. <laughs> That works, because then we'll get into the, the bottom of the of Blind's hut here. Bomb open that wall and get us just enough rupees to go buy some more bombs. Somehow the world works. Mysterious ways to our benefits. Well, never mind. Some more bombs right there. And another triangle. Right. Another heart. Oh, it was the same heart, so quick ass refill. I mean, we probably still will buy another pack of bombs before we leave the village here. Because that's our only... Oh, well, there's the money for everything. <laughs> Almost. And a power glove. Interesting. Open up some value already. Very healthy start, at the very least. Another Tringle for three. Aww. We got the... We got the wall clip, but we didn't blow up the wall. That's funny. I even, wasn't even aware that was a thing you could do. There's number four. Holy shit. Wow. Again, Kakariko with the value. bottle though, so no sick kid for us. Back at the bar today. Oh my goodness. Kakariko. With the motherfucking value here. It's incredible. Shelf. 
about race games. Race game gonna be another another Dorito for us? Eh? Oh no, but it is three hundo. We're gonna go grab that. That will get us Zora money and almost enough money for the rest of the game. Okay, so we don't have really a reliable weapon, but we've got enough bombs to go give the mini wormulon some health. So that's what we're gonna do. Ouch, excuse me. bad for the early game. Ah, nice. A Dorito under the water, just like last time. My goodness. Alright, it's looking okay so far. We don't have as much gear as we did last time at this point. But we've got a lot of Doritos. Ah, oh, you fucking... Dude, get out of the fucking doorway. Fucker, now stay down there and get hit by it. No, stay up there. Shit. Thank you. Alright, just barely enough. Ah, early lamp. Flippers. Silver arrows. Okay. Big old 20 and blue mail. My goodness, that is some value there. That is a shame. That is a ding dang darn old shame, though, that we don't have a weapon. <laughs> uh. But we do have flippers, which does grant us access to Zora, all that he might hold. a little bit of backup magic. Hmm, all right. Well, it's not looking too bad so far. The roops on the island, we don't really give a shit about that. Maybe Hobo will have some value for us. Perhaps a sword would be really nice.
Or another Dorito. That's also really nice. Also not bad, considering we were at a dearth of offensive weaponry here. Big old 20 on Zora Ledge. Go figure, nothing of value. Zora though, 500 groups for 20 in return. What a shit. <laughs> what a shit. Teaching us a good old life lesson there. Don't give money to fish. That is the lesson to be learned here. Oh man. I, well, I do have uh, Keena Bryan, so we can do this. We can make this work. With four bombs and Kane and Brian, we can do front side escape. Well, the entirety of escape, really. I mean, we should be able to, at any rate. It's gonna take a little bit of doing, a little bit of cleverness, and skill. Both of which are kind of in short supply, but that's alright. Every little bump in equipment we can get, though. Oh, okay, I was about to say, uh, please hit. <laughs> please hit something. or something, no? Might try for the death warp out of here, depending on what we have left. Number eight. Fuck! Ah, that was dumb. That was really dumb, but then again, that's only one item down there, so here's hoping that it's not going to be any value. So I don't want to go back for it. Shit. Uh, that was silly.
Oh, we might not even be able to get the rest of the way because we don't have uh, that key. for the shovel there. Still no sword to our name. Still no reliable weapon to our name. Not even like a fire rod or anything like that. Nothing but junk. So while this was a good, like, quick starter here, I might be looking at a long tail to find the remaining 12. Sasher, Trasher, Trasherla, and Eastern, I guess, will be six items. Suppose we could also do the backside of Escape, too. That's another three. Go up the mountain. A lot of different places we can go. Plus, we've got that last item in the dungeon as well that we stupidly executed the Death Warp too soon. It was just a little bit too quick. There's number nine, big old 20, and a, a single one. All right, well, something. Five sixers, both in the light world. Not that it matters, but whatever. <laughs> so fortunately, we, we can get around everywhere without needing a sword. <laughs> and if we found the bone here, we could really finish it off. Go straight on through to Armos. Swordless dungeon. Not something I'd like to do, but something that can be done if we do end up finding the bow. Busy bams. another offensive weapon, but not reliable. Especially reliable. Probably more reliable than Brian, but... It's, it's no sword. It's no hammer. And 
that's the last item here. Interesting. We got them all front loaded. going to be a burrito and a small key back here. Well, maybe. Maybe we'll get lucky and the small key is the one in the uh, dungeon chest there. Oh, wouldn't that be something? Bombs. And I think the burrito was actually... Uh, oh, dang it. No. So there's an item down there. Fuck. That was not worth a dang ding darn dually squat old thing there. Fuck. Well, hopefully that item isn't of value then, because I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there if we can avoid it. But we are rapidly running out of places to go. Hello, Anomic Dev. How are you doing? <laughs> like the past being like this. Yeah, that's true. Th that's because this is a randomizer for Link to the Past. Oh, flute from the old man. Wonderful. So basically, what happens is they tore the game apart. They took all the items, all the dungeon items, all the swords, all the armor upgrades, all the rupees, arrows, bombs, what have you. <laughs> they dumped them all over the world. <laughs> shuffled them up real good, but did so in such a way that you can still complete the game without doing something super broken to it, like clipping through walls and such. It's a very interesting twist on the game, I'll tell you what. Oh, there's a sword up there. Dang it, I can't get to it because I don't have the mirror. Oh, and then there's a piece of Triforce in there. So this particular one that I'm playing is called the Triforce Hunt. Where in addition to all of the... Uh, this one here, right? <clears throat> in addition to like all the items being shuffled, the kind of goal of this is to pick up 20 pieces of Triforce. There are a total of 30 scattered about the world. So we are halfway there now with our 10th pickup. Which is not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, we're gonna go activate the flute. Hmm. Well, the flute does give us fast travel, but it doesn't really open up much else for us. It does get us over to the desert, which is nice. Gets us everywhere else real quick-like, which is also nice. But it doesn't give me into Dark World yet, because I need a hammer and a Moon Pearl. Or a Titan's Mint. I'm gonna need the Moon Pearl regardless. Really. That's alright. Boo doo 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 doo! Be doo doo doo! So, we've got two items we can get still. One in the dungeon, because I died before I grabbed it. Go me. And one down in the desert. Oh, fire rod on the desert ledge. Man, there's just a whole host of useful stuff in places that I can't get to. Yet.
Ah, there is a mirror for us. Okay. That opens up a few places, including our very first sword, which we are gonna go grab immediately because we need a weapon, please. But that in and of itself does not get us to, ouch, to the next place we need to go or the next item we need to open up the rest of the world. But it's a start. It is certainly a start. achieved offensive weaponry. Okay, so two items in Hera. Two possible items in Hera. There's one in the basement we're kind of screwed. Because we need a source of fire, which we do not have. Oh wait, no, we do have the... Huh. Why is it saying I can't get through Hera, I wonder? So we do have a source fire. We've got the lamp. Oh, mushroom. Mushroom's an interesting item. That is a fetch quest. If ever I have seen a fetch quest. Should we try the bomb jump? Let's try the bomb jump. I'm feeling sassy. Let's try the bomb jump. There, that should do it. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Oh, the hammer in Hera! Oh, goodness. That is something. And also, we are fucking out. <laughs> so I am not dealing with Wormulon. But Hammer gets us over to Eastside Death Mountain. Which gets us many, 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 many more items. So that has opened up a bit of the world for us. Alright, got a big old 20 there. Which we don't care about. about what items I really want to find. Like, I'd love to get the hook shot. Another piece of Triforce ain't bad either. But, like, this is a different dynamic than a normal rando. Like, normally I'd be wishing super hard for the bow, but at the same time, I don't really need it. At this point. <clears throat> at this point, anyways. Like, because the bow would be super important for finishing up Eastern to get a crystal. But I don't really need that right now. I just need mobility, and I need another Triforce piece. Okay. That's pretty cool. Like, Hookshot would be real nice. 
Uh, a better sword would be really nice as well. Maybe even red mail would be pretty good too. There's a lot of things that could be good, but... Ah, Moon Pearl is good. That does open up. Uh, oh, another piece of Triforce and another one. Wow. And Red Mail. <laughs> I was just talking about Red Mail. Nice. All right. Well, that is something. Uh, does it get? It doesn't get us to Dark Side Death Mountain now, unfortunately. But that's all right. It's all right. There's still many other places we can go. Many, many, many other places we can go. Mm, let's see, we don't have Titan's Mitts yet, do we? We're probably best off going through Village of Outcasts. Hype Cave later, I guess. But you can bet your bottom butt as soon as we get that hook shot. We are headed back up the mountain. on the light side for health, so I'm not especially enamored with the idea of going into Thieves Town right now, but oh, it's an 8-drop. But it might not be a bad idea considering the four items there. But let's do North Side Dark World first, and then we'll kind of make our way back. We can at least check in what's, uh, what's on the ledge here if we can't get it. Let's see if it's worth hanging around for. And it is not. Ouch, birds, please. <laughs> oh, crap. I'll wind our way through here since we don't have the a very awkward item menu going on here. Very patchy, hard to get around. Oh, there's something you don't see all the time. Some booty boots. Excellent. Excellent. That gets us Bonk Rocks and King's Tomb while we're right here. Excellent. Very good. Good for another heart container. That's cool. Bambos. Alright, well, it's something. Exactly what I was going for, but it's something. 
Okay, well, at least we got some fast-ish travel. Oh, the flutes. The flutes and the boots. No bootless flutless for us today. feeling a bit healthier. So that dive into Thieves Town is looking mighty like a mighty good idea. Hey, there's another piece of piece of Triforce. We are three quarters of the way there. Not bad. Not bad at all. To be in a bottle. All right, four items in here. Chance of picking up another piece. Uh, small key, alright. I don't really care to see rupees anymore. Like, we've got enough to do all our shopping and then some. Expected. And the burrito. Alright, well, the rest is gonna be buried deep within the rest of the dungeon. Again, we already have the hammer, so if we do need the full clear, including down to the big chest, we'll be good to go. Oh, excuse me. I believe. Whoopsie. Eh, throw it the right way, idiot. So ideally we find both items down here so we don't have to fight blind. But blind fight isn't really that terrible anyways. Plus we've got a lot of safety items for it. No matter how it would go. Ah, Titan's Mitts. Beautiful, beautiful find. Makes it all worthwhile coming into here. That opens up pretty much the rest of the world for us. The compass, damn it. Alright, well, we're fighting blind, I guess. 
Ooh, that, oh. <laughs> that bopped off the edge. Fucker. Alright, we should be able to take care of this without a problem. The only kind of hang up with this we're gonna have is our teeny tiny ass plastic sword. Doesn't have a great amount of range on it. But just in case, we will have some powered items ready to go. Ouch. There we go. That was so bad. What do we get for our trouble? Eh, heart container. Eh. Hmm, but that does open up pretty much the rest of the Dark World for us. It's good. Also makes the routing of some of the, these items a lot easier. Uh, we do not have the powder, so Batman is off the table for now. But, that might not be a problem. I should have picked it up. Oh well. Not exactly that valuable though. Oh, they were making Triforce pieces though for me. Thanks, guys. All right, four left. Looking good. Looking real good. Uh, oh, wait. I really want that yet. Uh, well, I guess we could grab it. Take care of it right away, then we'll probably go immediately back to Dark World anyways to finish up the rest. I wonder how rare it would be for Hype Cave to have five pieces of Triforce in it. Because that would be something. That would certainly be something. Big old 20. Dang it. safety item there. Thanks, old Stumpy. Alright. 
that was just a piece of heart, I probably wouldn't have bothered, but full ass heart container, not bad, not bad, not bad. Start. A uh, big old 20. Piece of candy, meh. Big ass art container. And another one. Wow. Hype cave. Kind of hype. Two pieces for us, so two more to go. Alright. Probably best off going to Meyer area, but we're going to check the pyramid very quickly here. Sword. Hell yeah. Good. 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 Total worth right there. Ah. Okay, I think, what is it, Fire Rod was on the ledge, right? So that might be something worth grabbing really quick. Let's see, we got Quake for Fire. Not that it matters, because we're probably not going to go into it, but info, info, info. Ten arrows in Checkerboard Cave. Time, we're not going to forget to go into Meyer Shed before we bust a move on out to desert. Ah, third sword. Interesting. And very awesome, because heck yes, tempered sword. So heck yes, fire rod. two items in desert here, but it's, it's a pretty quick check. Ha, of course the small key would be in the big chest, because why not? One, okay, just one more. Just one more to go. My goodness, we are in pretty gosh dang good shape here. There's the compass. Ah. 
And the book. Boo. <laughs> Boo. I didn't want literacy. I wanted that last Dorito. That last ass Dorito. Couldn't get it, though. All right. Well, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to find it somewhere without going into another dungeon. That's gonna be a high concentration of good shit. Let's hit Bombo's tail at first, and then maybe we'll go up the mountain for Dark Side Death Mountain. Half of it, anyways. Kind of just picking and choosing spots here in the hopes that one of them pays off. Even though we only need one, there are 11 out there that we could potentially find. So our chances of finding one are pretty high. Although there are three very, very item-dense dungeons. Five in Pod, six in Swamp, and five in T-Rock. We can just get the one on Bombo's tablet and put up a 5320. Holy shit. That seems pretty nice. That is a pretty fucking nice time. My goodness. All over myself. Well done. Well then, what are we gonna do now? <laughs> like, we finished both of these really quickly. So I'm, I'm tempted to kinda make an ad hoc schedule adjustment here. Because as much as I wanna start playing Overload, we don't have our co-op Spelunky until 9 o'clock. And that is four hours and change off yet. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let the credits play out. We're gonna take a look at our stats. And we are going to call an audible here. And start up another SNES game. After we see the rest of this, of course. So I feel like this was pretty good. I feel like this is a pretty good run. Fifty-three twenty ain't bad. Ain't bad, son. A cool fourteen minutes flat, better than our previous one, apparently. Curious about the averages. Oh, it doesn't have enough data for average, I guess. Right, well, we'll look at that later. Ah, oh, and then there was a the. Butter sword on MSP. Wow. What a troll. <laughs> That's alright. That's alright though. We didn't even need it.
Thanks while we're waiting for the credits to kind of get done here. Pick up something real quick. So we went a goodly amount of time on this one without a sword, like 18 minutes or something like that. And we still ended up, oh, I'm sorry, 26 minutes. <laughs> wow, never mind. We still managed to pull a 5320 out of this. It's kind of ridiculous. Even with a dumb, poorly executed death orb. <laughs> All right, pretty good. Pretty fucking good, man. Let's clear that out. Turn off the timer. So we're gonna call something else here. We're gonna turn off the tunes. Because we are going to load up another SNES game.